Hello everyone, welcome to Texan Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to shell script, where we will learn how we can change the directory with the help of cd command. In our previous sessions also, uh, in one of the session we discussed about the cd basic command, right? But how to use that command inside a shell script? Just assume a scenario where you are, where you want to uh, run the cd command but through the shell script because normal q shell command line we have already covered, right? So in order to explain this thing in better way, what we will do, we will create a script from scratch and we'll try to understand what is going in it, okay? But before we going to start this session, let me tell you the requirement first because requirement is very important command is quite easy you can learn the command by just simple uh, trying one two times uh, in a sc script right but requirement like what are the scenario why we need that these questions should be cleared okay so the first thing is why we need that suppose you are using one uh, you, you are creating one file through touch command uh, using shell script okay so in that case what will happen like if you try to uh, create this command it will automatically create your files or directories inside a uh, inside the main or home directory slash home slash n by default directory right but you want to store it into a particular folder or particular location so in that case what we can do we can change the directory and after changing the directory directory is nothing but a folder okay so don't get don't get confused between directory and uh, other things directory is just a simple folder where we can store all the files and even subfolders as well okay so the first thing is that cd is used in order to change the directory or change the folder so let's say there are three folder folder a one b c okay and we want to create the file inside folder c instead of folder a or b so we can simply utilize cd command to specify the uh, directory name and then it will automatically move your uh, whatever you are creating files or directory will, will be moved to your C folder okay so I think now it is clear and requirement is also clear like why we use that now it's time to run this uh, practical things so for that I will simply write here work lnk enter here you can see we have work with object link screen so this is my home location or I would say the by default location okay so in this location whatever I will create without providing any path will be redirected to this location if right now if I directly create one file without passing any pa parameter uh, without passing any path so then in that case it will be created here in this slash home slash n same goes with directory okay so let's go to the shell script part so for that I will select my directory where I have already created my file so I'm taking option 5 here now this is the file which I use shermit.sh so this file is a uh, executable file so if you don't know how to make the shell script executable then in that case you can easily uh, refer the previous one of our previous session where we have already discussed how to make the shell script executable using ch mode command okay so once you have made your file uh, shell script executable then you can simply take option 2 here because it is always required or it is mandatory to make the file executable otherwise you are not supposed to run or call that script right okay so once we are uh, done with uh, execute once we are we have made the file executable then you can put this multi-line comment here you can see this is the multi-line comment where we just kept the uh, presenter name presented by texture myth and the session name which is sh cd shell script or you can make it as cd in shell script okay fine so now what we will do we will try to run some commands here okay so before we uh, actually use the cd command i'll show you the present working directory first because to understand this concept in a proper way you should know about this thing so present working directory before cd command okay so here simply i'll uh, put like this and it, as we know that for printing the text we need echo so simply write echo 
and below to this I will use PWD command what PWD will do it will uh, set the it will display the present working directory so let's simply save this thing F3 or F3 again for exit we'll go to session B here we will run the script so QSH slash home slash shermeth slash tech shermeth slash shermeth dot sh and enter after enter you can see it is printing present working directory before cd command is slash home slash shermeth got it now what we will do we will uh, change this directory to other directory so for that what we will do we will write here echo uh, before that let me directly write here cd and slash home so what this command will do it will change my home directory uh, my current directory cd means correct directory or change directory uh, to slash home okay and now what we will do f after this is echo present working directory after cd command and below to this we will use the pwd command so this time if i show you f3 f3 again for save and exit and we'll go to session b we will run the same script again this time you can see Previously, the present working directory before cd command was slash home slash shermit, right? But now, present working directory after cd command is slash home. That means it has been changed. Now, my question is, is what will be the output if I try to search it here? Let's say if I try to check my present working directory here and if I enter so you can see still it is showing slash home slash shermit why because this is out of the scope of the script we change the directory but inside uh, we change the script uh, path but that was uh, performed inside the shell script okay but right now we are trying to access it uh, outside the shell script that's why it is showing this slash home shermit because the command which we ran here is only applicable till the script is running after that it will automatically get got changed now my next question is what is uh, is it the case sensitive command like what will happen if i try to use this in a capital letters will it work or it will give any kind of error so if i run this again uh, the same shell script then you will see uh, okay <coughs> it is showing that no such path or directory that means we have we are supposed to use the only cd command in a small letters otherwise it will give you the error so make sure to use it or what will happen if i try to use pwd in capital is it will it work let's see so if i run this again you will see yes this time it is working but in case of cd it is not working so you have to uh, take care of these things like if you are getting any kind of error just change the case even i always recommend to keep everything in a small letters because if you write in a that way it will not give any kind of error even in case of uh, variables also because for variables it is always supposed to make it uh, like uh, in case of variable it is always uh, sub we, are, we are supposed to pass only the small letters okay so that is why I'm recommending to put everything in a small letters fine so I think now this part is clear like why we use CD how we use CD and what is the scope of CD command so I'll now I'll quickly show you how we can use the same thing through uh, CL command CL program so this is the program that I have already created for running a shell script using CL so here you can take this DCL take a four command uh, variable name type storage length then simply go chg var variable name and the script of the file and then you can use strqsh with a variable name what it will do it will execute the script which is present in that particular location so right now if i call it you can see it is returning the same output which we were getting from the qshell screen right because actually we are uh, calling the same script through the cl program 
so yeah that's all for this session i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more thing so thank you for watching tech chermit